Hello guys, welcome back. So, I was just about to get Nelly in and tack her up, and then I remembered that I did this yesterday. <sighs> so, that is the cover off of our tent barn, which I have finally gotten around to ripping off because it was an absolute eyesore and it was driving me crazy. So, that is naked now. Um, it's kind of a mess in there. I've got loads of tidying up to do still. You will not believe the rat damage I found in there. It is insane. Like I really did not appreciate how much that cat was doing for us until he was gone. Um, but there is rat damage everywhere. There's rat holes the size of my fist in that barn. Which is probably why they're going in and eating everything in my garden. Which is very annoying as well. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to deal with that mess. And then we're going to take that mess there out for a ride. And then when we get back, we're going to give her, well, we're not going to give all of her a bath. I need to wash her tail. So I have booked me and Nelly in to go and do some ridden showing in just under two weeks. Um, we're not ready for it at all. Like we've not done any schooling as such. She's fairly fit and she's going okay. So it's not going to be a complete disaster, but I'm really trying to stick to this whole um, one competition every month thing. So I've picked showing for this month. I was going to do some dressage with either her or Woody as well. But then uh, I literally, I was on the page about to book it. And then I was reading through the test. It was like novice 24 or something. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but it was one of the novice tests. And I was reading through the test and I was looking at it thinking, mm, yeah, I really need a lesson on some of this because it's stuff we just haven't done in so, so long. Like, so, so long. Like, I was reading through the test and some parts of it I was like, eh, what do you want? And then I, I figured out afterwards that it's kind of like the half circles that sweep out from the track to the center line and then back out to the track again. Literally, I was reading that like, what the hell do you want me to do? Um, plus there's medium trot and medium canter in there, which is something we kind of suck at. So I would like to get some practice with smiles on the ground doing that before we go out and do a test as well. So I'm just sticking to showing for this month. Maybe if I can get a lesson booked in, we'll do some dressage later on in the month as well. But for now, it's just the ridden showing. So we're doing a ridden novice class and we're doing, um, what else did I book? I think it was ridden coloured. Yeah, ridden novice and ridden coloured with Nelly New. Um, so yeah, I need to start getting her clean. I'm not going to worry about anything else like schooling wise really. I'm very limited on what I can do, but I can tidy her up. And you'll see when I get her in in a second that we're having some serious poo tail issues going on lately. So I'm going to go grab her now. Hey, sweet pea. What's happened to your mane? We've got a weird 50-50 thing going on here. What's that all about? <laughs> Oh, see, when it does this, I forget which side it's actually meant to go. I've done that before where I've brushed your hair the wrong side, haven't I? <laughs> nice poo stings. Okay, so. Oh, she looks fat. Nelly, you look huge all of a sudden. Girl, you need to go on a diet. Look at that tummy. Look at that. That is a big old tum tum. Okay, so poo tail issues. As you can see, Madame is not lifting her tail very well when she's going to the toilet. Uh, now that's always been kind of a thing for her. Um, she's never been a particularly clean pooer. And she does like to press her bum up against things when she goes to the toilet as well, which is a bit odd, don't you? Are you looking at me because I'm talking about you? You are a bit gross when you poop, honey. You're going to lift your tail and not push your bum against the wall. Yeah, then you won't get poo all over your backside. And then I won't have to clean it off every day. But yeah, that's a whole thing going on. Um, it's not been so bad the last few years because we've had her hogged. And obviously when you hog a cob, you tend to pull the tail as well to go with it. Um, so she's had a really thin top to her tail the last few years. And so I guess we kind of forgot about this problem. But now that this is all growing back, it's getting a lot heavier, it's getting a lot thicker. She's just pooing all over all the time. I have been gradually thinning it out from the underneath, but I think I'm gonna have to really, really go to town on it today. And like really, really thin it uh, because she can't, 
she can't keep going around pooing all over herself like that. It's just not okay. It's not fair to her. So we've got to do something about this. But um, where she has been pooing all over it, obviously staining is becoming an issue. So I need to give her a really, really good shampoo today. Try and get as many of those stains out as I can in preparation for her show in a couple of weeks. Because trust me when I say, and I've learned this the hard way, if you've got a horse with stains on them, particularly if they're a white horse, and you leave it until the last minute, i.e. the day before a show to try and wash those stains out, you won't wash them out. It just won't work. You need to do at least one pre-wash before the like the main show wash. Otherwise, the stains just don't lift. They just don't. Um, it doesn't matter what you put on them. Sometimes it just takes two or three washes to get these things out. Isn't it, honey? Yeah. I don't even know what to do about your tail for this ride. I want to bath you when we get back. But I don't want to take you out with poo on your tail. Should we just hose it off for now and then I'll shampoo you when we get back? What do you reckon? Should we do that? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, but first I need to get that thing out of there. Don't I, Taz? I need to get that out somehow. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. Um, I shoved it in there yesterday because I didn't know where to put it, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be fair. Maybe I'll just shove it in a stable for now and put it back in there when I'm done. It's not an ideal solution to my problem. Yeah, my horses really aren't scared of tarps, thankfully. <laughs> your mane oh Nelly what am I like better brush your mane quickly haven't I she's a bit scruffy brush your mane quickly bridle up and then we'll go uh, yeah her tail wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be so I put a load of pig oil in this I mean it's not clean don't get me wrong it's not clean but by, by any stretch of the imagination but there's no clinkers in it so that's good I basically put a load of pig oil on it last time I washed it and Actually, that's paid off because the poop has literally just slid right out of her tail, which is brilliant. That was really easy. Um, so hopefully it won't be too bad to wash when we get back. Uh, so yeah, we'll just sort her mane out, check her bridle on, and then we're going to go for a quick wehe, and then it's back here for a tidy up, madam. Oh, the enthusiasm. <laughs> Good girl. I said civilized. Yes, Nelly. We're not gonna gallop, we're gonna canter in an elegant manner. Oh, bloody not, are we? <laughs>
Okay, it is actually the next morning. It started chucking it down with rain yesterday when we got back from our ride. So they had an early night. I had an early night. Uh, but we really need to deal with this poo tail issue that's going on right here. So it's it's bad. I'm going to warn you. She has just had a poop and she's pressed her bum up against the wall like she always does. And it's juicy. So this is going to be fun, isn't it, madam? I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm just going to have to shampoo it. I'm going to put a ton of conditioner in it. And then I think I'm going to really heavily pig oil it again. And then she's going to have to have another wash early next week. And then she's going to have to have another, another wash the day before the show. So this is going to be fun, right? Um, I think I'm going to pig oil her feathers as well. Um, oh, see, this is why I don't generally do shows that involve like turnout with this time of year, because mud and yuck, yucky, yucky, yucky. Nelly, your butt is seriously offending me. Right, let's, um, let's see if we can deal with this. <laughs> try and show you how minging it is. Look! Ew, Nelly! Yuck! Oh, this is going to take some doing. kind of white now. Progress, madam. Progress. Right then, let's take you in, give you a quick dry off. I don't think I've got time to pick all you actually. I might have to do that in the morning. Because i got to muck out your bedrooms and go to work. Didn't I? Come on. So yeah, I'm running out of time now, so I'm going to wrap this one up, I think because I need to get, yeah, I need to get the stables mucked out and go to work. Probably very soon. <laughs> Probably sooner than I think. I feel like I took way longer than I planned doing that. Nelly, you don't want to drink that. That's got soap in it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, so there you go. That's phase one of our uh, show prep, kind of like a pre-show prep prep. Literally just getting a start on lifting some of those stubborn stains. And then next week, Hey, cheeky. Next week I'm going to give her a full-on bath, tidy up all of her hair. The head needs shaving out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trim her chestnuts because they get really big and ugly. <laughs> hey, back up. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, tidy up her feathers on her upper legs and everything. I'm just going to give her a really good tidy up, make her look absolutely stunning. What do you reckon, madam? Make you look gorgeous. Yeah? You're so pretty. Even with poo stains on your face. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. You want a sweetie, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll see you on our next video. Bye.